Hey, good morning to you. It is yet another blessing to be here this morning. Happy, happy Sunday to you. I am going to give you a few minutes to join for for all of you that are just joining, maybe on the live or listening to the replay, that this is your girl, Coach O, the founder and CEO of Action Speaks Volume Incorporated, where I help you to build unshakable confidence, stop procrastinating, and to get your dreams out of your head into your life. I'm also the founder of the Empowering 8 Inner Circle. Good morning, Nigel. Thank you so much for joining the Empowering 8 Inner Circle. Um, I am truly grateful for what the Lord is doing. I am so excited to be a part of this day. And I am just looking forward to what he is going to do. I am grateful for what he has already done. And so I pray that you are having an amazing start to your Sunday. Because it is truly, truly, truly a blessing to be on this side of the land. Yes, it is a blessing to be here. It is a blessing. And I count it a um I also counted a privilege because there was somebody that um, was a part of yesterday that is not here today. Good morning, Camelia. Thank you so much for joining. And I'm not going to be on here long. Good morning, LaShonda. Thank you so much for joining. Again, if you're just joining, this is your girl, Coach O, founder and CEO of Action Speaks Volume Incorporated, where I help you to build unshakable confidence. I help you to learn, you know, to understand who you are in Christ. I help you to stop procrastinating. I help you to get stuff done. Those things, it's not that I'm doing it for you, but I am that one. I'm that one that's going to encourage you, empower you to take action, take the action that you were not taking. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning, Evangeline. Thank you so much for joining. I am going to encourage you to take action. I'm going to encourage you to stop procrastinating. I'm going to encourage you to write the book. I'm going to encourage you to get your business off the ground. I am going to encourage you to start thinking about things that you were not thinking about. I'm going to encourage you to get active on these social Social media streets. How is it that you want to be on social media, but you're not sociable? But anyway, that's another topic for another day. Yes. So you see what the title of this live feed is. It says you will attract what you think about. You will attract what you focus on. It's no coincident. You know, when you get a car, think about when you get a car, you get a car, you get a certain color car, you get a certain kind of car. And, and before you got one, you never saw one. I'm going to say that again. Before you got that particular car and before you got that particular color car, you never saw one. But because you was you wasn't focused on it. You know, I got a little car I'm going to show you. I got a little car right here. I'm going to show you. Um I think let me see. I got this little car here. My little car. I wasn't seeing no orange cars before I got this little car. This this is my little car I have here. But anyway, um even with, I mean, but have you have you ever realized that that you start attracting the things that you focus on? You start attracting the things that you're focused on, and not that you're even in the car case. It's not that you're necessarily focused on, but you just really didn't recognize. You never really said them cars. But the thing about it, even the car I just showed you, I guarantee you, the cars that I've seen that that's that that is that color, they was already out there. They were already out there. They didn't just go get a car the same day I went and got a car. They didn't want go. They didn't go get a color car that I went and got because I went and got one. That's a bunch of baloney. The car was already out there. But my question is, what are you focusing on? You are going to attract what you focus on. If if uh, good morning, Ricky. Thank you so much for joining. You are going to attract what you focused on. If 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 it's, if you if you are focused on failure, guess what? You're going to attract failure. If you're focused on success, guess what? You are going to attract success. We get what we focus on. When we say things are not going to work, when we say things are going to fail, when we said that it's not going to sell, it's not going to be profitable. I'm not going to be able to do it. Guess 
what? You are right in everything that you have said. But when you say that I am going to be successful, I am going to make it. I can do it. This is going to be profitable. Come on now, somebody. Good morning, Shanti. Good morning, Apostle Cannon. Thank you so much for joining. You will attract what you focus on. And it's up to us. It's up to us. It's up to us to either go higher or it's up to us to go lower. It's up to us to succeed or it's up to us to fail. Can't nobody really stop you when you're determined. Can't nobody stop you when you have a goal and a plan in mind. And when you have made up your mind that you're going to execute the goal, they cannot stop you. Good morning, Fina. Thank you so much for joining. They cannot stop you. The only thing and the only person is stopping us is our sales. It is what we think about it. I'm going to prosper. That's the way we got to think. I'm going to make it. My business is going to flourish. Everybody I need, they're going to come to me. Everybody that I want, they're going to come. You got to stop thinking this is not going to work. I just, you know, I'm not, I'm never going to be able to sell it. I'm never going to be able to do it. I'm never be going to be able to get out of this situation. As a man, think it. So is he. As a man thinketh, so is she. Your words will create your world. Our words create your world. You, you got, I'm going to be successful in Christ. I'm determined. Yes. When we focus on it, Ricky, when we focus on it, Camelia, when we focus on it, Sharon, when we focus on it, Shanta, when we focus on it, Apostle, uh, Apostle Cannon, when we focus on it, Evangeline, when we focus on it, LaShonda, when we focus on what we want, we get it. See, when you're spending all your time complaining about what everybody is doing and everything that's not right and how you're feeling all down and how you can't learn the word and how you don't understand scripture and, and how the business is not going to work and how the customers are not going to come and how everybody don't like you, guess what? You're going to get just what you focused on. I am lovable. I am not just lovable. I am likable. Come on now, somebody. Good morning, Terry. Thank you so much for joining. What I want, I will have because I've been believe that I can have them. I believe that I can do it. I believe that I'm going to be successful. I believe that the customer is going to come. I believe that the clients are going to come. I believe that the wisdom is going to come. I believe that the opportunities are going to come. I believe that the doors are going to come. I believe the revelation is going to come. I believe that I am going to increase in wisdom and in statute and in favor with God and with man. I believe that. I believe that. Luke 2 and 52 you got to put your name in it. You got to say that Onika will increase in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and with man. What is it that you believe? What is it that you believe? What is it that you believe? You got to believe that your thoughts will generate what you want in your life. Your thoughts, your words. What are you speaking over your life? You got to speak to those dry bones. You have the ability to prophesy whatever it is that you need. If it's healing that you need, prophesy your healing. Good morning, uh, Carolyn. Thank you so much for joining. If it's prosperity that you need, prophesy your prosperity. Prophesy your freedom. Come on, you got to start talking what you want to see. Good morning, Rita. Thank you so much for joining. You got to believe that he will love you. He can love you, that you are lovable. See, you all keep on thinking, oh, it's not going to work. It is going to work. Why is it going to work? I want it to work. I said it's going to work. I believe it's going to work. I have faith that it's going to work. You got to work your world with your words. Oh, I love it. You got to work your world with your words. You will attract what you focus on. If you're focused on everything that you did wrong, if you focused on everything that everybody did to you, if you're focused on nothing but your past, you would never have a smile on your face. You would never be able to find peace. You would never be able to walk in that joy. You got to focus on what you want, not what has happened to you. What is it that you want? What is it that you want? What do you want out of life? You will attract what you're focused on. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. And I haven't even had a sip out of my coffee yet, y'all. Good morning, Nikita. Thank you so much for joining. 
I am excited because you can, you actually have more control over your life than you realize and then you use. You have more control over your situation. I told you on yesterday and I said a lot of times that we can always find something to be depressed about. Good morning, Sherry. Thank you so much for joining. We can always find things to be upset about. We can always find things. Come on now, somebody. We can always find things to have us down about. But do you know that you can attract what you want? You don't have to keep on thinking about your abuser. You don't have to keep on thinking about your rapist. You don't have to keep on talking. You don't have to keep thinking thinking about the words that your mama said to you. What did God say? I don't care how many times they call you out your name. It doesn't matter how many times they made fun of you and talked about you and told you you wasn't going to be nothing. You got to tell the devil that they is a lie. I don't know whose voice the devil spoke to you in. I don't know if it was in the form of your mother, your sister, your brother, your, B -E, your BFF or your ex. I don't know who it was, but you got to believe what God says. He says that you're beautiful. He says that you're fearfully, you're uniquely, and you're wonderfully made. He said that we're daughters and sons of the king. We belong to the royal family. What did God say? We would take what somebody said to us a long time ago, and we would just keep on playing that over and over and over and over in our head. But can we, come on now somebody, can we start speaking the words of God? Speak over your life. You got to speak those things that are not as if they were. Good morning, uh, Missionary Spencer. Thank you so much for joining. You got to stop being in this pit. Stop walling in your pain and start running. Start running with what you want. You got to start running with what you want. You will attract what you focus on. If you focus on being sad and down and depressed, if you focus on nobody not liking you and you can't do nothing, guess what? Everything you try to do, you will fail. Everything you try to say, it won't come out right. Everybody that you try to please, you won't make them happy. But baby, you got to bring it the way you bring it. You got to be just you. You got to say that I am going to create the world that I want with the words that I speak. You got to prophesy. You got to start speaking to those dry dead bones and tell them that you will get up and walk. You will be somebody. You will be something. You can make some stuff happen. You will build and not, come on now somebody, you got to start building with your hands and start tearing down with your mouth. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me. I got to get ready to get out of here. I got to get ready to get out of here. I didn't been up over half of the night and it ain't because, you know, I was up. I was praying because I just felt in my spirit that there was something that was going on in the land. I felt in my spirit that there was some stuff going on in the land. We got to get up and pray. We got to pray. When you woke up, you got to get up and pray. You got to get up and pray. But I want you to know that you can attract success. Yeah, stop poking your mouth out and frowning all up. Put a smile on your face. Walk up at your house with your head up. Walk with your shoulders back knowing that you are confident, that you are going to face what you want to face, that you're not going to walk into no surprises, that you're not a failure, you're not a mistake, and you are enough just the way you are. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me today. You're not going to talk to me. What are you focused on? Are you focused on everything that they said bad to you? Everything that they said ugly to you? Everything that they said nasty to you? Are you continuously to repeat those things over and over and over? You got to let your voice ring louder. And you start telling yourself, well, everything they said was a lie. I am somebody. Everything that they said was a lie. I am going to be something. Everything that they said was a lie. I am going to succeed. I am going to be a great mother. I will be a good wife. Come on now, somebody. Good morning, Minister Rosa. Thank you so much for joining. You got to say, see, everything that they, they tried to curse with your, their mouth, you got to bless yourself with your own mouth. You got to bless your own life with your words. Everything that they tried to do when they beat you, when they was talking crazy to to you, when they was whooping on you, when they was calling you out your name, that's not your name. What does God call you? Come, 
Come on now, somebody. Good morning, Kiara. Thank you so much for joining. Every time that they hit you, come on now, somebody. You got to make up in your mind that everything that they said, it was a lie. You are enough. You are somebody. You are happy. You're going to have joy. You're going to have peace. Your smile, it means something. It means something. Your smile, it means something. You got to say, I am enough. I am enough. Good morning, Hankika. Thank you so much for joining. I am enough. I may not have made all the right decisions. I am enough. You will attract what you focus on. You will attract what you focus on. I don't care what your teacher said. I don't care what your daddy said. I don't care what your mama said. If it was not words of encouragement, baby, you going to have to start. You going to have to start erasing racing the memories with the words that you speak over yourself. Create the world that you want with your words. Speak over your life. Speak over your life. Speak over your situation. Speak over your relationship. Speak over your finances. Speak over your feelings. Speak over your children. Speak over your community. Speak over your life. What is it that you want? What is it that you need? What is it that you have dreamed about that have not come to pass? You got to stop saying that it'll never change and it's always going to be like this. The devil is a lie. If I am not living the life that I desire, it ain't going to be like this. I have I haven't seen my breakthrough. I haven't seen what is in store for me. I haven't got it, but I believe that it's on the way. That's what faith is. Faith is believing those things that you don't have, but you believe that they're coming. Faith, your faith. Where is your faith? You will attract what you believe. You keep telling yourself, oh, I don't have the money. I can't, I can't do that. You, you keep telling yourself, I don't have time. I don't have the time. Good morning, Sister Lewis. Thank you so much for joining. I don't have time to do no stuff like that. I don't have time. We busy, busy doing what? Busy doing what? We're busy doing what? You will attract, when you keep telling yourself you don't have time, you don't have the money, you keep telling yourself you don't know how to do it, you keep telling yourself you can't do it, I'm not good at it, guess what? You're not going to be good at it, guess what? You're not going to have the money, guess what? You're not going to be able to do it because you are speaking those things. There is power and there is life, there is death in this little pink thing that goes up and down in your mouth, in and out. You have power in your tongues. Speak life over yourself. You don't have to say the same things that other people say to you. You worse than they are. You are saying just as much crazy stuff to yourself as they said to you. You have to come back what you have to. You have to come back what they said with what you said to make them see that they were a liar. I am somebody. I'm going to live the life of my dream. I will have what I said I'm going to have. I will do what I said I was going to do. I'm going where I said I'm going. I'm doing what I said I, what I, said I was going to do. They may not see what you see. They may not understand your value. They may not appreciate you for who you are. But you don't got to go take sides with them. You don't have to say, well, I guess they're right. No, you're wrong, boo. You don't have to take sides with them. Come on now, somebody. Good morning, Mary. Thank you so much for joining. Stop getting on the side of people that put you down. I love everything about me. I don't care what you say. Huh? You got to start loving everything about you. Don't you let nobody talk you into talking about yourself. That you got them, you got them making you talk about yourself because of the way they feel. Baby, if you don't understand my value, that's your problem. If you don't understand, if you don't value my worth, that's your problem. But I'm somebody. May not be nothing to you. I'm somebody. You got to tell yourself, look at yourself. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. I'm somebody. You got to love you. You got to love you. They may not like you, but you got to love you. You got to love you. You can do anything that you put your mind to, men. You can do anything that you put your mind to, women. I know the devil has tried to rip away your dreams. I know he has tried to tear down the house. I know he has tried to wreck up the family, but all we got to do is, all we got to do is stand up, baby, and let him know my hope is not gone. My family will be saved. Come on now, somebody. My hope is not gone. I may not have everything that I want, but I'm not where I used to be, and I'm not giving up until I get it. I am somebody, and I'm going to do 
all the things that God showed me in my dreams. My dreams will be in my life. Come on now, somebody. You got to stop sitting back letting the enemy think that he didn't warn something. You ain't warn nothing, enemy. You ain't warn nothing. You have no control over this earth. You are under my feet. You're under my feet. You are under my feet. You got to love yourself. You got to love yourself. What you focus on is what you will attract. If you if if all you focus on is problems, problems, problems. If you keep on singing a song, and if it ain't one thing after, if it ain't one, I don't even know how y'all say it. What is it? If it ain't one thing, it's another. It's always going to be another. It's going to be another one because you speak it in. You know, when they ask me what's my history at the doctor, I told them I don't have no history. I don't go in there singing that song, blood sugar running, uh, uh, not blood sugar, high blood pressure, it runs in my, I don't even go in there with that mess. I don't care who had it in my family. I don't care who got it. It stops with me. Speak it. It stops with me. Stop claiming all this mess with high cholesterol and high blood pressure and, and sugar diabetes. Stop claiming that stuff over your life. I don't have nothing because by his stripes, I'm healed. I am healed. I'm here from whatever my family had. I don't have what they had. It don't run in my family. Good morning, King. Uh, good morning, Charleston. Thank you so much for joining. Stop claiming stuff over your life that you don't want. You want a good man, you start speaking life into a good man. Stop claiming stuff that you do not want. You claim everything that you want and that's what you get. You get it because you think about it. You get it because you speak on it. You get it because you focused on it. You get it because you meditate on it. And just think about it. If you meditated on positivity and you meditated on what you want, you meditated on your dreams and your aspirations as much as you do on your past and the things that you don't want, do you realize how much and how fast, how much faster you would get what you want? Prosperity, it starts absolutely with us. You can start everything that I have done. I thought about it first. And I kept it on my mind. I kept it up here in the forefront. I didn't put it way back here. I kept it in the forefront of my mind and I attract what I want. I attract what I want. Traveling all out of the country in the Netherlands, Amsterdam, England, India. I attract what I want. Jamaica, Canada, all throughout the United States. I attract what I want. Anything I don't want, I don't think about it. I don't want you talking crazy to me. I'm not finna think about you talking crazy to me. I don't want to think about how my past made me feel. See, your past is only living through you. It's almost like living on life support. That's not living. That's surviving. I don't want to live a life where I'm just surviving. I want to live a life where I am thriving. You got to live a thriving life, not a surviving life, but a thriving life. Are you ready to thrive? It's time to unhook yourself off of life support and say, look, boo, I can breathe on my own. You got to have the fight won in your mind. All fights, they start in your mind. But if you walk into a fight fearful, if you walk into a battle fearful, you already going to lose. But God didn't give me fear. He gave me power. He gave me love and a sound mind. So I got to get ready to go. I got to get ready to go so um, for I can get ready for Sunday school. Sunday school. Sunday school. I got to get ready for Sunday school. But anyway, I pray that you have a blessed day. If you are not a, a part of Empowering 8 and you want to be a part of Empowering 8, say you're interested. We are currently full in 1 and 2. I had a young lady to contact me. She, I want to be a part. I want to be a part. I want to be a part of Empowering 8. So if I have enough people to do Empowering 8 3, I may do an Empowering 8 3. But just say you're interested and I will let you know how the Lord leads that. But right now, Empowering 8, 1, and 2 
is full. Praise God. Empowering 8, 1, and 2 is full. Good morning, Camilla. Thank you so much for joining. Um, but if you're interested in Empowering 8 Inner Circle, just say you're interested in the um, call you after church. Yes, I'll look forward to that call, Camilla. Um, say you're interested in the comments. We can get connected. And if I have enough people that is interested, we will do an Empowering 8-3, which we will meet the third Thursday of the month. And so if you're interested in Empowering 8, just say interested. Find out what it's about before you already turn it down. You just heard me talk about you will attract what you think about and if you don't want to put interested in the comments hit me up in my inbox but i gotta go this is your girl coach o founder and ceo of action speaks volume incorporated where i help you to build unshakable confidence stop procrastinating and to get your dreams out of your head into your life good morning sheena thank you so much for joining so again if you're interested in in empowering eight put interested in the comments or you can hit me up in my inbox. Empowering 8 is an inner circle where this is not just another thing. This is not just a group. This is a movement. Empowering 8 is a movement where we're going to make an impact in our business, in our families, in our lives, and in our finances around the world. God bless you and have an amazing day. Thank you. Bye.